Podcast. I'm your host, Larry Lees. Today we're diving into the latest movie news from Hollywood. First, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Pondex, for sponsoring this episode. You can visit Pondex.com. Use promo code CINEMAGOLD for 10% off your order. And now let's get into the latest news. We just got word that there's a Star Trek movie coming in 2023. It's been five years since the last Star Trek movie hit theaters, however it appears that that wait could be almost over. Paramount did some release date shuffling earlier this week, which included an untitled Star Trek movie for 2023. There has been talk about what the next big screen adventure could be for the franchise, including a possible movie starring Chris Hemsworth and Chris Pine, as well as a rumored Quentin Tarantino project, which seems to have evaporated. Even though it ignited a massive amount of hype. Was Tarantino really ever going to make a Star Trek movie? Who knows? Perhaps one day. Paramount has claimed June 9th, 2023 as the release date for the upcoming Star Trek movie. This unfortunately is where the new information stops. According to IO9, this project is not the only is not the one that Kalinda Vasquez is currently developing with Dick J.J. Abrams. The aforementioned movie is still believed to be in development, but won't have anything to do with the new movie Paramount is scheduling. However, it is also believed that Abrams will be a producer on the Top Secret 2023 project. In a new interview, Spock actor Zachary Quinto revealed that he would be more than happy to return for the long-rumored Star Trek IV. He has also said that he has moved on from the idea ever happening, since it is currently out of his hands. Quinto went on to note, saying, You never know. Things come back in surprising ways, and it's surprising times, and it could be fun if it happens. As for this new project turning into Star Trek IV, that is obviously unclear at the moment, and the real estate could end up getting shifted at some point in the future. Big studios have been known to claim a release weekend even before a proper script is written which could very well be the case with this untitled 2023 project. Some longtime fans of the franchise have been looking forward to a complete reboot of the franchise for something that closely resembles the original TV series. Others are hoping to see Chris Pine and Zachary Quinto reunite to finish off their franchise. Maybe the movie movie will be the one that Quentin Tarantino was originally attached to. Regardless, it seems that Paramount could be preparing for something pretty massive for this fans. There's also been talks of a big interconnected universe with Paramount Plus being the home of everything Star Trek. Marvel Studios is currently enjoying success with their Disney Plus partnership, which has already introduced fans to WandaVision and the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Bringing everything together, both big and small screen, could be something that Paramount is looking to do though that has yet to be officially confirmed at this time. And now let's get on to a possible Batfleck movie. Fans have been dying to see a Batfleck movie. It's been long awaited. The hashtag make the Batfleck movie is trending on Twitter as DC fans demand to see Ben Affleck's Batman get his own solo movie after his first appearing in Zack Snyder's Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. Affleck returned in the Justice League crossover along with the recently released four hour Snyder cut. While he was at one point set to get his own solo movie set in DCEU, the project has since morphed into a standalone movie. The Batman, with Robert Pattinson playing the part. Feeling that Ben Affleck still has so much more to deliver as Snyder's version of The Dark Knight, thousands of fans are now campaigning on social media for Warner Brothers to hashtag make the Batfleck movie. However, there are no currently plans at the studio for such a project to ever happen. But as fans saw with the release of the Snyder Cut campaign, it ultimately led to success. And now fans are hoping to see Batflex movie come to fruition as well. One fan said, if Ben Affleck wants to do it, I'm 100% behind Make the Batflex movie. 
hopefully this hashtag trending today shows him just how many people loved him in that role. I would love to see him direct his own Batman movie. Plus, it featured Deathstroke. Make the Batfleck movie because we need more of the GOAT after Zack Snyder's Justice League. Tweets another fan, naming Batfleck as the best Batman of them all. Another DC fan has said, I want to see Batman face off against Deathstroke. I want to see Slade destroy Bruce's entire life. I want to see more of Affleck as Batman. Many other fans have been tweeting a quote of J. Olivia referring to the cancelled Batfleck movie script. It's the best Batman script he's ever read. This is a result of an overall campaign from DC fans to quote, restore the Snyderverse. Another movement that's gained some traction after the release of Zack Snyder's Justice League. As Joe Manganiello is also up for reprising the role of Deathstroke if given the chance. There was recently another viral campaign to give Deathstroke his own movie or series on HBO Max. Still, for better or for worse, there's currently there aren't currently any plans at Warner Brothers to expand the Snyderverse beyond Snyder's Justice League. If enough people campaign for it, the possibility would seem to always be there for the Batfleck movie to become a reality. In any case. Fans can check out Robert Pattinson's take on the character when Batman is released on March 4th, 2022. And that's all we have for this episode.